Hey friends, hello, how are you? So I'm here with a new video and in this video I will show you inside a computer optical mouse. So this mouse is of Flipkart brand and no, this is not a promotional video. Just, just I'm sharing my experience with this mouse and I would like to show you inside this mouse what is there in optical mouse. So this is the on off switch which is on the back side of the mouse and it is having the adapter the bluetooth adapter inside it that's the adapter let me just take it out yeah this is it and yeah let's start so i will take out the battery and let me just quickly switch it on in front of you so it is working however battery is a bit weak I'm not having new battery at this point of time. So let's go inside the mouse. What is inside it? So here I can see only one screw. I believe that this is the only screw which I need to take off to open it up. Let me just check it out. So if you're opening anything for the first time, you need to be very careful if it is having any extra screws or the plastic clips inside it you need to find out the exact location where the clip is located and there you need to uh, press or push whatever is required you need to perform to open it up mm, properly so here i will just use this sharp knife to put it in between the gaps so it came out very comfortably yeah a little bit backward pull help me to take out the upper chassis and these are the two pins which is attached with these two pins on the upper chassis it is having a bit of gap in these two pins so that chassis could be fixed properly and now let's take out this black tape oh before this i would like to show you this magnet this is a magnet which help bluetooth adapter to keep it in position in this place while mouse is not in use let me just take it out okay so that is just a magnet nothing else it's a neodymium magnet let me just keep the bluetooth adapter apart and now i will take out this tape this is a cloth cloth tape this is not just a plastic tape it's a cloth tape the use of this black covering is just to absorb extra or a scattered light coming out from LED. Basically, the black covering is important in camera tunnel where light is entering from the camera lens to camera sensor. And in this case, it is not that necessary. However, to increase the performance of the mouse, this black covering will help a lot. So let me just keep it apart. And now let's see this circuit board let let me just take it out okay so you could see here this is the optical channel which is allowing the light to fall on the surface where you have placed the mouse and most of the cases it is mouse pad so you could see here carefully so light will enter from this side and as per channel design, light will follow this path and it will further come out from the bottom. So if it is getting emitted from LED, it will just enter into the channel here and further it will be bent as per channel design and come out from the channel and fall on the surface incidentally. So whenever you are moving the mouse, that surface will reflect those lights towards this lens and further the light will be converged by this lens so that sensor could receive it properly due to which the sensor is detecting the moment on the surface yeah so this is the sensor and there is a hole you can see this so yes this is not a normal sensor it's a camera this is a camera this is this will magnify the image with the help of that lens and then it will just capture the picture of the surface and it can capture thousands of pictures in one second. 
and comparing all those pictures it will it will send the digital signal to the mouse chip and further it will be processed to computer for the point pointer movement on your screen so this is working in that manner so that's the main functionality here so that's why so it is it is just the camera camera feature which they are using to detect the movement on the surface so let's say if you are moving a camera so it will detect the changes in the surface so due to that lens the surface is getting maximized and camera could able to detect the motion so by moving the mouse in any direction it is just the algorithm is calculating the x-axis and y-axis on basis of that your cursor is moving on the screen however before moving further i would like to show you a small 2d animated video of mouse functionality so that you could have a better understanding on it so right now you are looking at side view of an optical mouse so i will just replace it with a 2d diagram here it is so it's, it's not that perfect diagram but you could consider it with the original mouse with internal parts visible inside it quickly i will describe the parts so this is the mouse pcb and this is a scroll wheel this is the cmos sensor this is led and this is the chassis or the outer cover of mouse this one is the back side of the same pcb and this is the optical channel it is made up of plastic in all the mouse and this one is the lens which is also made up of plastic which is embedded in this optical channel and last but not the least is the surface where you are using the mouse that could be a mouse pad or any other surface reliable surface so let me just quickly remove the label and show you this thing. So as soon as the motion is detected, LED will get turned on. So as you could see, it got turned on now. So the light is emitted from LED and channelized towards the surface or the mouse pad. From mouse pad, it is getting reflected to the lens and further lens is converging those light towards the sensor. So in the same manner, it is happening every time whenever you are doing a movement. So until mouse is in motion, the light will be there with full intensity so that CMOS sensor could take the image properly. And after comparing those images as per motion, sensor analyze it and process the signal digitally, which is further sent to the computer for which you are getting a response as a moving cursor or a mouse pointer on your computer screen and this is how it works okay so let's move on now and here I have taken out the switch so this is the gap where this switch has been placed just manually to turn it on or off so that's the functionality here and this switch is actually triggering this a small switch fixed on the mouse PCB. You can see it's a small switch which I can move to and fro. So actually if you are if you are operating this switch from the outside so this is happening internally. There is a small gap in this plastic black plastic thing which is moving this thing if you are operating it externally and let's see the buttons how the button is working here so these are the two buttons which all of the mouse user knows so what it does so if you are pressing this you can see a small lever is coming up and down so this lever is actually responsible to press the button which actually resides on PCB. So these are the buttons. So this is the right click. I'm just uh, trying to make it a closer view. 
give you a closer view. So this is the small white switch which is getting pressed. And this is the scroll. Let's check the scroll functionality. So let me just take it out. It's a bit tricky to take this out. If you will pull it forcefully, it may break the things. So I'm just checking what would be the perfect manner to take this out. So I will just take off this rubber grip, which might help me to take out this scroller. Okay. So still, I don't want to take it out forcefully. I need to apply a simple technique because everything will open very simply. If you are taking it out forcefully, it means that's not the correct method. It may damage your item. So, okay, it came out. So this is just a wheel. And here I would like to show you, let me just focus the camera first. Sorry, it was unfocused. I was not noticing that thing. So I will just give you a close view of this. And you could see here, this is a potentiometer type of thing, a regulator type of thing, which is having different, different points on it. So when you are rotating this wheel, it is internally rotating the connector inside it, which is touching those points one by one, or might be detecting the clockwise or anti-clockwise motion on, on basis of which your page is going up, scroll up or scroll down. And that is how the scrolling functionality works. So now let's uh, fix the scroller into that scrolling sensor. So there are different type of sensor you may get inside the mouse, like LED and light detecting sensor fixed on either side of the wheel. And the wheel will have a small, small holes surrounding its axis. Uh, which will allow light to fall on the light detector sensor and further it will detect the motion of the wheel in which direction you are rotating and further the digital signal will be sent to the mouse controller which will further send to the computer and you will see the response on your computer screen and this is just a basic animation to make you understand so one thing i forgot to tell you so there is one scroll click. So this is the button. If you will uh, do press the wheel on the mouse, it will just give you a click. So the use of this click is to fix the point on the page so that if you will move your mouse up, the page will scroll uh, down and the vice versa. So basically wheel movement doesn't require if you are using this click. So basically, there are three buttons on the PCB and this is the scrolling sensor. And this is the Bluetooth module. You could see the zigzag trace of copper, which is acting as an antenna for Bluetooth. So that's the Bluetooth module. So you can see that's the oscillator, crystal oscillator which is fixed on the Bluetooth module and these are the capacitors and this is transistor and this is CMOS image sensor which can click thousand of picture at a time and compare those pictures to detect the motion of the mouse. So now let's fix up the scroll wheel in the scroll sensor. So here, uh, I think you, it is not visible clearly, but the wheel is having some grooves. It is not just a circular axle on the wheel. It's, it is having the hexagonal axle so that it will be fixed on that sensor and while rotating, the sensor will also rotate. Okay, it got fixed.
no i think this is a bit difficult so i think i need to take out the scrolling wheel again and first i need to fix this uh, rubber grip on the wheel then only i could able to insert it otherwise it may break the sensor or anything could be broken okay so i have taken out the wheel and i am fixing the rubber grip on the wheel and further i will insert it into the sensor so yeah this is pretty easy yeah now it is working properly and i am feeling that internal sensor is rotating and it is also clicking the button so scroll wheel is fixed okay so wheel is done and now this is the optical channel which is placed in this manner so as you could see here the led is emitting the light and it is transferring via channel So this is how the optical channel is fixed and this is how you are using the mouse. So everything is in the same manner just the difference is that I am running it without its chassis. So let me just connect the power cable I mean the battery power supply cable. okay yeah it is connected now and i will quickly connect the battery here okay so battery is connected now let me just turn it on so i will change the position of the switch from off to on state and you could see this is the sensor which requires light on the surface so that clear motion could be detected. So this optical channel is channelizing the light coming from LED to the surface. And further the reflection from that surface is going to that CCD sensor which further detects the movement on the surface because CCD sensor is taking thousands of image in a second and compare it quickly in which direction it is exactly moving. So those things are getting processed digitally and sent to the computer where you are getting a response as a moving cursor on your computer screen. So this is how an optical mouse works. So definitely there is a lot of algorithms working internally, the programmings inside the chip which is working internally to process these things so that end users should not face any type of difficulty while using this thing. So let's fix this mouse up. So I have connected the power cable and the switch and I am just placing it properly on the lower chassis. Okay, uh, here this wire is stuck in. I will just take it out and now it's done. Okay, it, it got fixed properly and this is how it will be residing inside the chassis. So here I am feeling some sound coming out from somewhere. So this is the optical channel sound. So it is, it is not like fixed properly. So I think that's why they are using this tape because this is the first time I have seen this, this type of uh, covering on that channel. So it might be possible they are stabilizing the channel at a place because this channel 
what they have prepared it's not fixing properly because in other mouse i have seen that these channels are properly precisely fixed on that place so that it is not having any small movement also so it might be possible with help with the help of this covering this is this is a tape so it will it will hold the position of the channel at a single place which will definitely increase the precision of the mouse okay so i have fixed this black tape and now it is okay lot let's fix the upper chassis oh before fixing let me just check the switch from outside whether it is working properly or not yeah it is working properly and now i will fix this just you need to check the alignment of the pin of the upper chassis and the lower chassis and just and press it very gently it will get fixed on its position so now everything is working fine clicks are working fine let me just put the adapter inside it and also the battery and i will just quickly tighten up this screw so there is only one screw and i will just cover it up put the cover on the back yeah and now switch on the mouse so it is working fine so if you feel this video is helpful and knowledgeable do share this video to other needy peoples and like this video subscribe my channel for the latest update and do press the bell icon to get quick notification about my videos and that's it for today see you in the next video bye bye